Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Must Watch Tips. Today we will be learning basics of Excel. So without wasting your time, let's begin the video. So for starting with Excel, you need to find Excel over search bar and you have to open the Excel application. So right now here I am using Excel version 2021. You are, you, in your laptop maybe you will be you must be having 2016 version or 2019 version or 2007 version so 90 per, 90 to 95 percent of all functions and features in excel are same in all version just the upgraded version have some more functions this is the page we are, you are going to see in when you will be opening excel so you have a blank workbook if you want to start a very fresh new Excel workbook. You have some templates so you can just go to more templates and see what all templates do you have. So if you don't want to start all things from very starting and you want to make a household budget. So you can just directly go to this household monthly budget or you can just search the template like household budget and searching thousands of templates so food budget you want to make or household organizer or car repair tech. so whatever template you want you can search and you will get the template and as soon as you will search a template you just have to click and create and now you can just edit the numbers and all so right now we are not going to use the template we will be starting it from very basic there are some recent workbooks or some excel files which you have been working and if you want to pin some excel file you can pin just by pressing here you have a pin button you have some more functions over here like if you want to create a new excel file if you want to open up uh, existing excel file in the info section you can see the size of file name of the file and last when this file was modified and who has created the file and for save you can just press ctrl s as well and or, or else you can just click over save also you can print the excel file share export publish close mode so in this more section you have an option section also so we'll come back to this option section right now let's begin with a new excel file blank workbook so this is the blank workbook you will be seeing i will be showing you some terms and uh, wordings which I will be using throughout the video. So this small you can see the highlighted cells. So this is a particular cell. Each cell have some name. So right now this cell is in D column. So this is the column part. D column, F column. The vertical lines are known as column and the horizontal line like fourth number row, sixth row. So this horizontal line is called row. So when you select a cell particular cell so it is made from column and a row so I have selected D column so for this cell I have selected D column and fourth row so this the cell the name of the cell is D4 so in Excel file each and every cell cell have a name just like this the cell the name of the cell is J9 and you can see the name over here as well next is we can see over here, here it is written as sheet 1. Sheet 1 is the name of this particular tab. If you want to add more tabs, we can just press on plus button. If you want to delete any tab, we can just right click on that particular tab and see this all options. So you can just delete the tab. If you if we want to hide any tab, so right click again on this particular tab and hide the tab. So now I want to unhide the same tab. So I will right click on any tab and go to this unhide option once sheet is already selected and okay so that type is now unhide then we will be seeing this rectangular tab this rectangular tab is called as a ribbon so we have functions like file home insert draw page layout so these all are different tab insert tab draw tab page layout tab so each tab in each tab you have this rectangular thing so this rectangular shape uh, have some more number of features so that particular rectangular shape is called a ribbon in home tab 
you have undo clipboard font alignment so this all things the clipboard font alignment this all are groups so each tab is made up of number of groups and each groups have features so this was all about the basic features and functions of excel in next video we'll be going into more detailed functions thank you